Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. As Imam mentioned, we have a guest here today um, joining us, and he will share a couple of words with us. Um, this is just regarding recent events that's been happening, and we just wanted to make sure that our community understands that, that the bridges are open in this community, and we wanted to make sure that we are understanding how we need to deal with some of these issues. That's why we invited our police chief here, and uh, there was some messaging that got to me in the last couple of weeks that we need to address this. So then he's here, and he's cooperating with us. We would really like to thank him about this. And uh, I would just invite, invite Troy Cooper to say a few words. Thank you very much. Uh, good evening, of your leaders and your mom, and, and today and at any time when I'm invited by them, uh, I'll be here to be able to talk to you and to tell you about what's happening in the community, uh, your community or the broader community as well. There's two reasons I'm really excited to be here today. First of all, to be invited, uh, pardon me, to be invited uh, into your house of, of worship, into your place where there's fellowship. Uh, I think that's incredible and I want to thank you very much for that, for that honor. I think any time spent in prayer is time well spent, and I uh, was listening to the message and taking my own uh, uh, message away from it as well, so thank you for that. And secondly, I want to point out, uh, give me an opportunity to point out that I'm here not representing the police, I'm here representing your police. The, uh, for us to be successful uh, in the community, we need the cooperation and consent of the community. We know that the Muslim community has been incredible supporters. And I think that your values that you have, the values of self-sacrifice and forgiveness and humility and honesty and placing the community above yourself, that's what makes you really, really incredible contributing community members. And we're committed, the police service is committed to protecting and supporting you in the same way that you have supported our officers. I want to thank you very much for what you've done for us. The last few years I know have been difficult for your faith and we can see from the politics in the United States and other countries and the comments that have come from that, from that country has divided them. And uh, they're based on ignorance, and that ignorance has created some conflict. And Canada, unfortunately, has a different history. And we're proud to be a basket of many nations, and, and we're new, we're recent. My police service, as an example, is only 115 years old. The province is only 113 years old. We're not old enough to have developed ancient conflicts. But even here, now we've seen from time to time there is tragedy conflict. And the terrible occasion in Quebec last year, when our, when, the one that our Prime Minister referred to as a terrorist attack, is an example of this. But since that time, police across Canada have been on alert for groups and for individuals who are a threat to our community. We're watching. And despite the fact that the laws around terrorism and hate crimes are very restrictive, we still investigate any offense where culture or religion is targeted as an offense against the whole community. It is serious for us. And we know that it's the intention, the intention behind the act that is important, and not whether or not it meets the criteria for a specific crime. Recent incident in Saskatoon, there was a crime against a respected elder in their community and was reported to our office. And we're fortunate that this is rare, but it can happen here as well. We have no reason to believe that this is an offense coordinated or by a group. We think that it was just individuals, irresponsible individuals acting on their own. But it's very serious that we're treating it that way. The attending officer knew the victim. We're proud of that. He knew he was a respected elder in this community. We're proud of that too. And we hope that he understands that it had the potential to cause fear and, and worry to spread. This offense has been assigned to our detective division and our intelligence unit is aware of it and it has oversight of the superintendent charge of major crimes and I am personally following the case. The city of Saskatoon is proud of its diversity, not just the breadth of the diversity, but the strength that that diversity brings. And we need to protect that strong social fabric. We don't want to wait for a crime to be reported. We're proactive and we're vigilant. We're dedicated to protecting our community leaders and our community members, and in this recent case as well, but at all times, we're here to make sure that you are safe and that you feel safe. Your leadership and your imam are my respected friends, and if you ever have a concern, 
please reach out to me directly or through them. If something occurs that requires immediate assistance, please call the police. But if there's something that just bothers you or just seems off, if you, you can either contact me directly or you can go through your elders and they'll set up protocols or through your mom because he has my, my ear. And any time that there's a concern in the community, it'll be an important concern for me. And I wanted you to be aware of that. Thank you for your time today.